All right, guys, I am so late filming this video. Oh my gosh, the year just got away from me and I did not prepare as well as I wanted to for Christmas. So here I am two days before Christmas as promised filming and sharing with you guys what we got our kids to put under the tree this year. Unfortunately, because this video is so late, this will not be a gift guide video. However, if you are curious and you still want to see what we got our four kids for Christmas, stick around. Also, you can bookmark this video because if you have any upcoming birthdays, I feel like this could give you some great ideas if you have kids around the same ages as my kids and if they have the same interests as my kids. And also, you can watch this and get ideas for next Christmas because your girl is late. I am definitely going to be making a New Year's resolution, and that is to start preparing for Christmas way before Christmas, okay? <laughs> I am so good normally prepping and planning, and it just didn't happen this year. So I'm going to go ahead and share everything we got our kids this year for Christmas. I have four kids ranging in age from 10 to 23. And just a little bit of like backstory. I try to keep the gifts even. I try to keep the gifts even for the kids every year. I'm that mom. I don't want any of my kids to feel slighted because one of their sibling got more gifts than them. You know what I mean? Like I don't focus so much on the dollar amount because my kids are not going to be calculating how much was spent. They're going to be counting how many gifts they got to open. So for their under the tree gifts, I believe they're each getting about seven gifts. And I'm going to be wrapping like items together just so there's seven packages for each kid to open under the tree. I do that every single year just to keep things even. I tried to stick to a budget of about $1,500. I don't know if I did that well with that. Um, I did the majority of the shopping today, so I can put it up on the screen to show you guys how much I spent, but I did also buy a few items. Um, yeah, I bought a few items a couple of weeks ago, and I wasn't like keeping track of how much I was spending on those. So just so you know, that was my goal budget this year was $1,500 for four kids. So let me go ahead and share everything we got the kids this year. I'm going to also be sharing stocking stuffers in this video. I normally separate and do two different videos, what we got our kids to go under the tree and what we got our kids to put in their stockings. Because I'm on a time crunch, y'all, and I am so late, I'm just going to put it all in one video so you guys don't have to watch two separate videos this year. After I share what I got the kids to put under the tree, I will also share what I got to put in their stockings. So let's go. So starting with my oldest, like I said, he's 23. He lives at home. He's a full-time college student. I know technically he's not a kid, but I still like to share what we get him every year for Christmas because I know there are other parents out there shopping for adult children and they need ideas or they just want to see what someone else is buying their adult child for Christmas. So one of his gifts or two of his gifts aren't here. So I'm going to pop up or insert a clip of those gifts right now. He actually asked for this plastic drawer organizer and I'll kind of explain why when I show you another one of his Christmas gifts but I did go ahead and get him that and he's also getting the PlayStation membership and then the other gift he's getting is this electric kettle I know this is kind of like a weird gift. However, my son is moving and that sounds a little bit more dramatic than it actually is. He's just moving to the guest apartment on our property, which is a couple steps away, just to kind of give him some independence. Yeah, just to give him some independence and also so he can have his own space. 
he's getting that guest apartment. It's a sizable apartment for him because obviously he's just a single 23 year old college student. But this is something he mentioned that he wanted because my son drinks a lot of tea. He drinks a cup in the morning and then he drinks another cup at night. And the guest apartment does not have a stove and he doesn't want to be trekking here, even though it's a few steps away at night to make his tea. So he mentioned an electric kettle and I got this Dura brand electric kettle from Walmart. So he's getting that. My son is obsessed with Legos. Please excuse the glare, you guys. It is nine o'clock at night when I'm trying to film this because I wanna get this video up tonight. So you guys can at least watch it tomorrow and Christmas Eve if you want. But yeah, he's obsessed with Lego and he's also obsessed with Harry Potter. We love Harry Potter, him and I. And so I got him this Harry Potter Lego set. This is the Tri-Wizard Tournament, the Black Lake Lego set. This is his favorite Harry Potter movie. He doesn't have this set and I think he's going to love this love this these are the characters that it comes with he has so many harry's ron's and hermione's but again he's obsessed so i got him another lego set and he wasn't asking for much at all this year to be honest with you guys the two gifts that i showed you already the PlayStation membership and the plastic drawer bins. Those are the only two things he asked for, as well as a pair of Crocs. That's it. So I just wanted to get him things that would be fun. You know what I mean? He did ask for some Crocs. He's been asking for Crocs for a while. I normally get him the imitation Crocs from Walmart. But I went ahead and got him some, like, legit Crocs from the Croc store in the mall. Crocs here are super expensive. Like, this is an $80 gift. So, that's a lot. But, again, since he wasn't asking for much, he's super grateful. And he just doesn't want me to spend money on him for Christmas which he thinks he's too old. He'll never be too old to get Christmas gifts. The way I gift to him might change. The quantity might change as he gets older. But for now, I'm just going to do what I do. So we got him some Crocs. They didn't have any nine and a half. They only had nine and ten. I'm hoping this fits him. And then if he doesn't like this color, they didn't have black. We can always exchange it for something else. And then I picked up two Lego bags. Just some random gifts to wrap. I got him the Quidditch practice and the Doctor Strange portal. And I got him some men's pajama pants so he can have some comfies to sleep in. As well as just this t-shirt. Again, something comfy so he can sleep in. And that is what he's getting from us for Christmas this year. The four things actually that he really asked for, he's gonna be getting and the rest are just extras for him to enjoy on Christmas morning. Moving on to my 16 year old daughter. I think I got everything on her list. I'll have to double check to see. Um, which yeah, by the way, I do get a list from my kids every single year and I do try to get as many items off their list as I possibly can within reason, especially if they're budget friendly, because I just want the kids to get the things that they really want. But I also like to throw a few things in there as well. You know, little surprise gifts that they don't know that they're getting, you know, makes Christmas that much more special. So this is everything that I picked up for her. This is in a box, so you can't really see it. If I can find a picture of one that's similar, I will insert a photo of that. But this is a guitar amp that she's been asking for for a while. The one she has doesn't work. So I went ahead and got that for her, as well as she asked for some clothes. 
She's really picky, y'all. So I have to be very careful. I save the receipts to everything so they can exchange if they don't like it. But I know she'll probably like these. These are some green wide-legged cargo pants and these long socks that she's obsessed with. The last ones I got her from Forever 21 got ripped to pieces because she wore those every day to school. So I got her some new ones. And then this shirt with like a cutout sleeve. I'm hoping she'll like. All of these came from Forever 21 on sale. She wanted some skincare and body care items. So I went and got her this frosted coconut snowball body mist and body cream from Bath and Body Works. Some CeraVe moisturizing face cream from Walmart. And the Dove Nourishing Body Wash also from Walmart. The Walmart affiliate, actually. My daughter is very much an artistic person. So every year, pretty much, I'm getting her something that's art-related. Again, she asked for some canvases. Because again, like I said, she paints a lot. So I got her three. This is a two-pack. And then this bigger one down here, if you can see that. She asked for some more gouache paint. This is so pricey, y'all. But I remember the last time I got her a set of this, it lasted like two or three years. So it's not something I'm buying constantly. So I went ahead and got that. And I got that from the art store near the university. She wanted some nude eyeshadow. This was on sale at the beauty supply store. So I got her some eyeshadow. And she wanted some more acrylic paints. And this was from the department store in the art section. So I got her some acrylic paint. And that is everything that she will be getting for Christmas. All right, moving on to my 15-year-old son. His interests, <laughs> they're varied, okay? And you'll see. But he recently got into boxing and he's taking it very seriously. Like he's been in a couple of sparring matches. He goes to a boxing boot camp. He's just really serious. Like he wants to box competitively. So a lot of the things he asked for are boxing related. So we got him a couple of things related to that. And then a few other things you'll see. Um, the first gift I'm going to share with you right now because I don't have it here. My mother-in-law had a friend that was selling this and so we bought it from her. So he'll be getting this boxing bag. He's really into comics, specifically DC. So I got him a DC comic book and he also got this comic book with a Batman character um, this was really expensive like $20 but I digress I got it anyway I was gonna wrap these two together but obviously I want to make sure that everything's even so I don't know if this one might be a stocking stuffer we'll see he asked for some DC toys I got him two little DC toys they come with three surprises the Batman and the Robin his big gift this year, and it's something he's been asking for, and it's actually something that he really needs for school. So I'm really excited that we were able to get him a new laptop this year. Um, this laptop was a really good deal. If I can open it. That's as good as I'm going to go. Um, I drove all the way across town to get this laptop. It's a Lenovo, and I actually got it from our Costco. And he also got a mouse to go with it i got this from the japanese dollar store the mini so it's not really a dollar store to be honest but it's super cute in there i got him this one that lights up so that can go with his laptop he asked for some earbuds so we got him some earbuds he just ran out of his face wash he takes his um, he takes his skincare very seriously. His sister got him into skincare. He he's all about skincare, y'all. So I got him a new Carbon Detox, and then I think these two might be wrapped together. I got him some exercise gloves, like weightlifting gloves, and a jump rope. 
my husband had a jump rope we have like a little mini workout area on our back patio yeah we have a pretty nice setup like a beginner setup but it's really nice he takes advantage of that because he works out a lot and we had a jump rope that my husband ordered from amazon and he was using it a lot but our dog our puppy got to it and ripped it up so he needed a new one and that's what he asked for so he's getting that and then he also asked for clothes my husband actually got this personalized like this was made by my husband's friend who owns his own business making shirts and things like that like he can put any image on anything so he got him this he asked for another hoodie so i got him that that's from forever 21 as well as some black jeans because that's all he likes to wear is like black or red or green but I just stuck with the basics. And then I got him this shirt as well. He wanted like muscle shirts. But that's just going to have to do y'all. That's just going to have to do. I got him a lot. I got him a lot this year. Because a lot of it had to do with like his hobby right now. Which is working out. Boxing. And so he was really easy to shop for this year. Moving on to my... 10 year old son i'm super excited for his gifts this year so anyway let's start off down here um again the same like personalized shirt it's not like personalized but it's an image that my husband chose that his friend put on there it's a really cool business that he has going on anyway this is the image my husband chose so this is going to him two little mini figures these are normally stocking stuffers for me however because I'm so last minute, he's missing a few gifts. So I'm going to have to make it do. Or I might end up like picking something up for him tomorrow. Because the kids are actually doing their secret sibling Santa gift shopping tomorrow. Unfortunately, you won't see it in this video. But you will see it in our Christmas vlog. So stay tuned for that. So while we're out tomorrow, I might pick up one or two more items for him and maybe for my oldest as well, we'll see. But definitely one more item for him because we wanted to fix his bike and give it to him like all brand new fixed up. But that would not be ready in time for Christmas. So we're going to do that after so that he can have his bike back so he can ride again. And he asked for this specific Spider-Man. They were all gone. So anyway, I have these two Legos here. And like I said, they're normally stocking stuffers. So if I do pick up something else for him, those are going to go on his stockings. But for now, I have them here as a gift that can be wrapped together. And then he asked for clothes. Honestly, doesn't need any more shirts. But he does need nicer shirts. So I got him a t-shirt. And some jeans. I think he's going to really like that. And then he asked for a drum set. And honestly, you guys, drums are loud. He's a kid. Like, he's not thinking about practicing and taking lessons and stuff. He wants to play. So my husband was like, I have to sit him down and talk to him. Because if he's really serious about drumming, he's going to have to take classes before we invest. Because number two, drums are super expensive, you guys. And number three, they take up some space. So I went to the music store today and the guy showed me this electronic drum pad, which was such a good option. He let me listen to how it sounds. It sounds amazing. It's like perfect. It's a way for him to practice. And if he's really, really serious, then yeah, we can invest and get him a drum set and put him in classes. But for now, I think this is perfect. It comes with two foot pads and the uh, um, amplifier and the drumsticks so i think this is absolutely perfect i wasn't even thinking about that until the guy showed it to me so i was really happy about that and then he also asked for a piano and i was like boy where do you think we're getting all this money from but this is like a super 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 beginner like kid-friendly piano electronic keyboard it's by Casio, which is a good brand. So, again, if it's something that he's serious about, like, my daughter has a keyboard, like a professional keyboard. He can practice on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no need to buy him 
a two, three hundred dollar keyboard because you know he's all about just having fun right now. And then I also got the charger for that because we're not gonna be wasting batteries. We're just gonna have it charged. I know for a fact that these two gifts are going to be a huge hit with him on Christmas. I'm super excited about that. But his big gift is this. Yes, we got our 10 year old a smartphone. Now, most of my kids, yeah, pretty much all my kids get their first phones around the age of 10. And he's been asking for a phone for like two or three years. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. We've handed him down our old phones, but he basically uses them like a tablet because his iPad is so old, you cannot download any streaming services on there. So there's no Netflix, there's no Disney, there's nothing. So I was thinking maybe it's time for him to get his own phone and not just a hand-me-down phone, like a real phone, because I don't know how many of my videos you guys watch, but my two middle kids are in private school and my 10 year old was in public school. We decided to make the decision to pull him out of public school and put him in the private school that my middle kids are in. And this school not only is amazing, but one of the requirements is that the kids have some kind of a device that they can access the internet. So thinking about something that he is going to eventually need for school, I went ahead and got him a cell phone and we are going to go ahead and put a chip and put a number in here so that he can make phone calls. Well, we can call him, he can call us, that type of thing. And so that he can have access to the internet at school. So that's everything that he's getting. Like I said, <laughs> I really don't want to be spending any more money and I just want to be done shopping, but we're taking the kids tomorrow to do their secret sibling Santa shopping so that they can do their gift exchange on Christmas Eve. So if I see something, I might end up buying it. We'll see. If I do end up doing that, you guys will see that in our Christmas vlog. All right. I'm exhausted <laughs> because I have been ripping and running all day, you guys, just trying to get all these Christmas gifts bought. And I am tired, okay? I've been at the house since 10.30 and I got home at 8 o'clock because I was determined to get all my shopping done in one day. And I'm really, really proud of myself. I'm super happy with everything I got. And I'm really glad that I was able to knock off pretty much everything that the kids have been asking for on their Christmas list. All right, so let me go ahead and share what we got to put in their stockings. So this is what I have for stockings. I think stockings are pretty much all set as far as how many items they have. I'm trying to keep it to like between eight and 10 items in the stocking. So I don't think I need to buy anything else. If I do put anything else in the stockings, it'll most likely be like treats because I didn't get a lot of treats to put in your stockings. Like there's barely any candy and there's barely any chocolate. However, I do have a few, so we'll see. But this is what I have so far. These are shared, so they'll each get like a couple of Ferrero Rochers and a couple of Lindors. And my daughter is going to get a couple of these and also my son because he has longer hair. So I'll give him two of these and then the rest will go to my husband because my husband also has long hair. So I'm going to split this up between those three. Toothbrushes every year goes in the stockings. And then I bought this little kit. I actually got one for my niece, my brother-in-law's daughter as well. Um, it's a five-piece lip kit, but I want to put the lip oil and the lip balm in my daughter's stocking as well. We'll see. Depending, I'm trying to keep things even, but I don't know, y'all. Maybe this year it'll just have to be what it's going to be. Starting off with my 15-year-old, because that's just how it worked out. I was just trying to organize everything. So his pile is first. I got this body scrubber. And then, like I said, he works out a lot. So he asks for some protein snacks. I saw this the other day at the grocery store. I thought this was pretty neat. These are raspberry energy, like fruit, fruit snacks, energy chews. 
my gummies. And then these two little protein chocolate and peanut butter bars. I got him two of those. This prime drink, which I was convinced to buy by my oldest because he told me that he would love this. And I know Prime is like the big deal right now. I've been hearing a lot about it on YouTube. A lot of people have been putting it in their gift guides. It is an energy drink. It has caffeine. It's the strawberry watermelon flavor. Um, but this is just like a one-time thing, y'all. First of all, it's like $8. So, yeah. And also, it's a fluke because it was at this kiosk that had a lot of like American snacks. They don't sell this here in Costa Rica. So I don't know if I'll ever find this again. So this is just something for him to try, to say that he tried. And because it's so on trend right now, I know he's going to really be excited about that. And then he likes these protein nutritional shakes that I buy as like a meal replacement. He asked for a couple of those. So I'm going to put two in his stocking. And then I got him this boxing mouth guard to put in his stocking some tic tac he asked for a hard chewing gum so i got him this trident and that's what's going in his stocking for my daughter she needs a new mouse um i don't know she goes through them real quick for some reason she's using my oldest son's mouse right now so i just got her this one from walmart i don't know how good this is or how long it will last but it is what it is. Some Tic Tac. She needs mascara. So I got her some mascara. She also needs a new umbrella. She wears her natural hair straight all the time. So when it rains here in Costa Rica, it's not good. It's not good for her. So I figured she could um, use her own umbrella. The two that we had broke. So I'm going to put that in her stocking. She asked for a loofah. And that'll go nicely with the body wash. This primer, I'm hoping this is what she wanted. The lady was explaining what it was at the art store, and I'm not sure if this is what she was asking for, so we'll see. She's obsessed with boba, so I got her this matcha latte bubble tea boba drink in a can. I've gotten her something like this before, so hopefully she likes it. And then she also asked for some blue light glasses, similar to the ones my husband has. But I got her these because I thought they were so cute. So these are what's going in her stocking. It comes with a little case, which I thought was super handy. And that's everything for her. And then on to my 10-year-old. He is getting a new water bottle. He's been needing a new one, and I'm thinking about also when the kids go back to school, which will be coming up real soon, sooner than I want in February. So at least I have one thing checked off the list for him. Got him this, um, it's like stainless steel. It'll keep your water cold for eight hours or your hot drink hot for 12. So I thought this was great. It doesn't have a straw, so it won't get yucky. And it just has this little opening right here. And then you can close it off with this button. I thought that was neat. And it was a really good price. And then he's been asking for some sunglasses. So I got him these. Hello. Tic Tac. And then this hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I've had these pocket bags for years. The last time we went to Boston, I like stocked up on these. And I had a couple left over. So I'm just going to throw this in his stocking just to even things up. And the rest of the items are things that he saw at the pharmacy and asked for. So I went ahead and got them. This little keychain guy he can put on his backpack for next year. This like magic ball. I don't know what it does or what it is. But I got it for him. Another slinky. This Mario slime. And this is a, what do they call it? A magic wand. Let me open it. It was super inexpensive, super inexpensive. And it lights up. So I thought that was pretty cool. I could actually wrap this, to be honest. I might actually wrap this, y'all. Hold up. 
there you go. Because it was so inexpensive, like 10 bucks, I was like stocking, but I'm going to wrap it. There you go. Even things up a little bit. And now on to my oldest. So he wanted to try the Prime as well. He was the one that convinced me to buy it for my 15-year-old. So I got him the orange mango flavor. Like I said, he drinks a lot of tea, y'all. A lot of tea. I might get him another box of tea. Like um, I couldn't find the other flavor I was looking for. So I'm probably going to get him another box of tea because he goes through tea like nobody's business. I got him the ginger lime. That's like his favorite. Green tea, of course. Another pocket back for him, the mahogany teak wood. This fire noodle ramen from the mall. Two of these Lego blind bags. And another, another Lego blind bag. And he asked for some blue light glasses as well. Um, and this one also comes with the case which I thought was super handy. And this one looks like the one that my husband has. But because it's more like masculine, I gave it to him. I have a few extras. So whenever I tally everything up, I'm just going to make sure that everything's even. Another body scrub. That could go to my oldest. And then this primer. I actually thought this was what my daughter was asking for. Until I figured out she was probably asking for art primer. So I don't know who to give that to. Some Christmas butter cookies for family. I picked up two more wrapping papers because I don't want to run out. And then you guys, I printed our Christmas card this year. It's super nice. I actually spent the money and went to a professional photo printer place in the mall. So they did a really good job. It came out really nice. Super happy with that. I do want to share what I got my brother-in-law's daughters. If you're interested or curious, what would you get a 23-year-old adult girl and a 15-year-old teenager? I have not bought anything for my in-laws, but we will probably pick up something for them tomorrow. So because we're going to my brother-in-law's house, we got him a really nice gift card to a restaurant. And I wanted to do something similar this year, but I wanted to give him like a massage. I still might do that because it's a digital one. So we'll see. But I did get them some wine and I used my points on my credit card, which was so awesome. So this is actually, I didn't spend money on this. So we're going to their house on Christmas Eve. So this is a really nice gift to bring. And then for... Let's see. His daughter, my niece, my husband's niece, I'm going to give her this lip set because I think it's super cute. And maybe these slippers. I got these slippers on super clearance at Walmart. So I thought that was cute. And then for her sister, the 23-year-old, I got this today at a kiosk in the shopping center, this Body Philosophy Body Spray, Body Mist, and Body Lotion. It smells really, really good. And I bought this glass at the Walmart affiliate, this little glass tumbler thing. It is so stinking cute. So, yeah, that's what I got them for Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video because it's long. And because I shared so much, um, I was trying not to talk for too long because, y'all, I could be winded. I can be long-winded, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Please bookmark it and watch it for upcoming birthdays or, you know, save it for next Christmas. But, you know, you still have one more day till Christmas. So if you find this video helpful at all and you run out to the mall tomorrow, yeah, here's some ideas for older kids. Because y'all already know it's so hard to shop for older kids and it's very difficult to find those types of videos on YouTube. But I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.